Hey everyone, welcome on back to Minecraft. So, last time I... Okay, thank god I caught thought I couldn't hear anything. That is because my sound is all the way down. For... That's better. Okay, well, I mean my sound, not your sound. Okay, so, a little update on what's going on. I need, what I, as of now, I need four episodes to be pre-recorded for my break. Obviously, this is one of those four. Um, I've decided that, just a heads up, the next four will be on this building. I will be talking and digging. We'll see how far and how much we can dig in four episodes. Then after those four episodes, we will... Um, after those four episodes... After, after those four episodes, we will actually... Uh, my brain is off right now after those four episodes obviously whatever we don't actually manage to dig out i will dig out off camera uh over that break and i will plan the next set of things so i just wanted to give a quick heads up on what exactly we were we are going to be doing for the next uh for, for the next set of four episodes and if you're wondering why on earth that i'm just digging and talking versus building something new or doing something else. And obviously that reason is because I'm, because I am cleaning up and this is something that needs to be destroyed because as much as I wanted it to work, it really doesn't work because I don't have enough of these items for it to be an issue. And I really only collect materials on a need to get basis, which is something a little ridiculous, but that's eh, the way I do it, so. What can you do? Okay, let's go put this stuff back outside. So today, I wanted to kind of talk about YouTube in general. And you might be wondering, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by YouTube in general? That's kind of vague, and well, that's not wrong. Um, why I do it? This is a pretty well-watched series on my channel compared to others, and I just felt like this would be a good place to be able to... I guess talk about this kind of stuff because I mean it's a good way to get this stuff out so I obviously have a channel where I play video games and I guess there are some issues with that because if you do may or may not know I am 17 years old as of as of the recording of this video I am 17 years old and that would place me in high school. Now, high school is a little uh, crazy, in which anything out of the ordinary is considered weird and not nice. So I spent the last two or so years hiding it from anyone who happened to look over my shoulder. I'd hide an email, or I'd or I'd be or I'd be working on my uh, channel banner, or I'd be working on something like that, and I'd go completely out of my way to make sure no one saw me doing such a horrific and I guess nerdy thing and I I would always just try to hide it from people and then but I was even hiding it from my best friend and it got to the point where I mean every time he would come over I'd like run down turn off monitors well monitor um, to make sure we couldn't see it and it just got to a point where I didn't feel comfortable with it anymore because I felt like, I mean, he's a very good friend of mine. And I, I mean, I guess I just didn't like hiding stuff. Um, if you can believe it, uh, I just, I, I couldn't do it. Um, so I ended up telling him. Uh, this actually was one of the better things that I've done with my channel, because I was super, super, actually, super, super, um, self-conscious about it, super worried. I mean, I thought he would dislike it and hate it, and, I mean, the answer which I wasn't expecting was, huh, that's cool. I like, I like watching YouTube channels all the time. That's cool. And, to put it lightly, that is not what I was expecting the answer to be. Um, of course, I mean, I'm a very cynical person. I'm a very negative 
thinker. Just I, I just am. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Actually, there's a lot I can do about it, and there's a lot I try to do about it. But I'm just a negative thinker. And I guess what I'm trying to say is I care about doing YouTube a lot. I enjoy sitting down, talking, and hopefully entertaining someone. I mean, I never know if I'm actually going to entertain someone because there are times when I can be pretty bland and pretty boring. But I hope I'm able to at least entertain a couple people. And that's what matters to me in the long run. And it was just like, it's doing YouTube and just talking and getting things off my chest and just, I guess, putting myself out there has helped me in ways that, I mean, I has helped me in ways that I never ever could have or would have imagined. And I guess, I, I guess that's one of the main points I want to get to where it's like, I mean, if you care about something, go do it. At least try it out. And I mean, let's say you're like me. You're in high school. I mean, everyone's going to think that you're weird for doing something like this. But then again, it's high school. Everyone is going to think you're weird regardless. I mean, there's really nothing you can do about it. So just go for it. I mean, obviously, that's, that's not the complete truth because, I mean, other than my best friend, no one else really knows about that I do this and that I really care about doing stuff like this. No one actually knows about it other than obviously myself and him. So, and the, actually and a couple other people. So to be honest, I mean, when the day comes, and I mean, it's high school, someone's going to end up seeing it or someone in the future will f come across this and be like, hey, like, did you do this? And I guess it's just been a long time of just thinking to myself, you know what? Like, I am proud of this. I'm proud of what, I, what I've been able to create and the type of content I've been able to put out because, I mean, I am, I'm legitimately proud. I mean, I'm satisfied with what I've been able to put out. I feel like I've been able to put out pretty professional and high quality content and that's, that's something that matters to me. I strive to be able to create the best I possibly can. And I feel like I've been able to do a pretty good job with, uh, with this channel. And I, I guess what I've been trying to say is just, I mean, for something, something like this, I mean, I need to take a lesson from this. Just be proud of what you do and stand by it. And if it's something that you really care about, fight for it, defend it. Make sure that, make, make sure that you know at the end of the day, like this is, this is something that means enough to you that you'll defend it and you'll, like, You'll defend it and make sure that it's what you really like to do. I, I, I guess is what I'm trying to say because, I mean, like I, like I said, I need to take a lesson out of that book and, oh boy, I forgot I had hardened clay here and I went to go get some for the last build. That is embarrassing. Um, <laughs> the, I, 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 I guess, again, just... Be confident in yourself and what you like. Whether whether that whether that's a thing. And okay, here here's an example. I would consider myself more of a sports kid at my school. I play ice hockey and soccer, and I really like to. I mean, I'm a sports person. I mean, that's just who I've always been. But I mean, and if if you if you want to go like people thinking you're a weird route, um. I was talking to the same friend and my girlfriend, and we, not we, but they talked me into joining the acapella group of the school. That may have been one of the better decisions I've made at, at that school and in life in general. Um, I mean, of course, a bunch of people were like, oh, why'd you do that? That's so weird. Like terrible decision, how could you ever put yourself through that, but, to be honest with you, the reason I did it was to have fun and be with my friends, because, I mean, that's, that's really was the thing that truly mattered to me, was I was able to sing with my friends and become a better singer, and I was able to learn to sing, and I was able to learn to do all these, learn to do all these great things, which I really, I mean, to be honest... I don't think I ever would have even tried without it. I mean, I would have stayed away, would have 
been like, oh, I singing's not for me. I'm, I'm that. I'm this sports person, and I, I'm not really into the arts, and I like big stage fright and all that stuff, and I just had to, I, I, I guess, if you're interested in something, go try it. I mean, don't shy away from it, and I mean, especially, I mean, school, school can suck. I mean, I, being serious, school can suck. There's no, there's no other way around it. Um... But at the same time, oopsies, you've got to make, I mean, make the best of your time there, and try out new things, try, try learning a new thing, maybe, maybe a language that you thought, that you didn't want to take, you thought was hard, or maybe a difficult class, because, you know what, you, you've got people to support you, so go for it, try it out, I mean, it is so worth it in the long run, and I mean, like, to be completely serious, that... I mean, yes, like I was saying, people people have thought I was weird, and people are like, oh, why did you do that? And it was just... And I mean... I give you guys the same answer I told them, which is... Because I thought it would be fun. And I ended up having fun, and you know what? If I didn't have fun, I just wouldn't do it the next year. And I wouldn't do it the next year after that, and... Maybe I'll decide the music thing isn't for me, and I mean... Better example is actually that's not a better example. Just I don't know. Moral of the story is just if you're interested in something, try for it. Just it never hurts to try, and it never hurts to give something or someone a chance. So don't don't, don't ever shy away from that. Just make make sure when opportunities come your way that you don't pass them up because I guess that's the I guess that that's the most that's one of the most important things. It's just don't. Don't pass up opportunities if they're given to you, and make make sure to make sure that you that that, that ma make sure that you do what you're proud of, and make sure you do something that you you can be confident in yourself as well as what's going on. And oopsies, I kind of went over. Um, thank you guys for watching and for listening, and uh, thank you. And I I really do mean it. I mean, I know I kind of didn't talk about YouTube. I'll talk about YouTube next time. And I kind of just talked about confidence and doing stuff, and I mean, those are things that are very important for me. Very important for me. Very, very important to me. And I feel like, I, I don't know, just be confident in yourself. And you know what? With that, I'm going to end it off. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!